everyone, Janet here from Lucid Pen. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make these planner pages with a nice border on them. Um, and as you can see, we've used the binder rings that we did in our last tutorial. Um, so now we're just gonna expand on it and add to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new slide. Okay, and what we can do is we can go back and select those um, binder rings that we did and just copy them and paste them. And let's go ahead and center these. Now you want to lock these, that way they don't get in your way, you don't move them, etc. Let's make a square here. And this will be our pages. So let's turn this into a nice page over here. Um, and I suggest leaving a little bit of space on the sides. Uh, and I'll show you here. As you can see, I've added some extra pages in the back so that it looks like an actual real life planner. Um, so let's go ahead and give this some color. And we'll go to fill and we'll go to images. And I have provided in the Facebook group in the freebies folder, um, the backgrounds that I used and the textures that I used to make these. So you can, guys can go ahead over there and get those for free. Um, let's see, so we'll go ahead and insert this lined um, pattern paper. And as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. Um, so what you wanna do is go back to the fill and with these options right here, you can see that the size and the shape changes around a little bit. What we're gonna do for this one is use the stretch and we'll go back to style oh, and sorry, we'll go to arrange and we'll go ahead and flip this horizontally. So that way we have the white towards the inside because that's where we want to put our border. Uh, now what we want to do is send this to the back so it's behind the binder rings and we're all set there. Okay, now we'll create a second shape, another square. We'll make this the exact same size or I should say length, um, but it's going to fit right there. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll go to style, fill, images. And in this case, we're going to use the blue polka dot pattern paper. And once again, as you can see, you'll have to play around with, um, with the shape and see what happens to so this one when you stretch it, it's not so good tile so we'll scale it to fit that's a nice um, that's a nice balance and once again we will just go ahead and send this to the back behind the planner rings okay let's go back to the page and let's give this a drop shadow and we'll use this one right here which gives the bottom of the page a bit of a curve um, so that it looks like you have more pages behind it and it's filled. Okay, and then for this part of it right here, no, not you. Oh, there we go, I selected it. <laughs> um, for this one here, we'll also do a shadow, but we're going to do this second one right here, which gives it a little bit of a shadow towards the inside where the binder rings are. Okay, and now what you can do is just copy and paste these over to the other side. And then we'll send those to the back. So we'll arrange. Let's get those behind the planner rings. And we'll move them in a little bit. Now, as you can see, we don't have a big gap in the middle. So what we can do is scooch everything over just a little bit and if your, um, if your guides are giving you a hard time, go ahead and turn off those um, center guides. That way you can move things um, correctly you know, to where you want them to be. So we'll go ahead and move this page again. Uh, there we go, I like that. And then we'll move this one into place. There we go, okay. This one, we need to flip it now because we have all this white space on this side and we want it to be under the binder rings. So we'll go back here and flip it again horizontally. There we go. So we have mirrored pages. And as you can see, we, we, are, we already have the drop shadow on this one, so we don't need to do it again. And for this, we'll go ahead and copy this one. 
paste it here. Now for this one, we will have to get rid of the sh drop shadow that we added to this because it doesn't make sense there. And you can't mirror the drop shadows um, in Keynotes, so that won't work for us. So we'll just go ahead and remove it and just take it off completely. And we'll move this in place. There we go. And we'll arrange it behind the binder rings. Okay, it's starting to look like a planner now, isn't it? We'll go ahead and copy this page again and we'll paste it. And this is going to go behind. Let's move it to the back so you can see it. As you can see, there it is. And what we'll probably do this here is we'll change the drop shadow because this is too much. And just give it a soft shadow all the way around. And we'll come and do the same thing to this page over here. We'll copy that, paste it, put it in place. Go ahead and send that to the back. Okay. Ah. Okay, I guess I didn't send it far back enough. <laughs> there we go. Now, as you can see, it's back there. So what we'll do to this one is move it over just a little bit more so that it matches the other, the other side. And there you have it. You have planner pages now that you can decorate um, and copy over and over again. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe so you can be notified for more tutorials to come. Thanks.